James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 25th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NOAA claims a coronal mass ejection just hit Earth. A CME struck Earth today, July 25th at 1422 UTC time, according to NOAA. Quote, we're not sure, but this could be the halo chrome mass ejection launched towards Earth by a dark plasma eruption on July 21st. This is their diagram. We're going to take a look at Discover and the KP index. G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible in the hours ahead as Earth moves through the coronal mass ejections magnetized wake. Ladies and gentlemen, if this was a CME impact, well, we've got problems. Talk about being completely wrong, yet still trying to hide it with a news release. This is our KP indexes and we have absolutely Nothing showing up, not even a geomagnetic disturbance. Let's look at our Discover satellite. This is getting ridiculous. All right, as you may recall, NOAA, NASA, and the EESA all predicted a double impact yesterday. One, for the dark filament eruption that created a halo CME that most definitely should have hit Earth. And the second one from an M1.5 class solar flare. Well, this is what they're calling the first of the two impacts, I assume. The dark filament eruption. Solar winds, or let's say, the plasma tops out at 3.70, with 10 centimeters cubed being the space weather threshold. This is wacky. Then, solar winds jump from 332 to 400 and top out at 460, 460, way below any type of chronal mass ejection impact we've ever seen in the past. You can see temperature verifies this very, very light impact if it was a chronal mass ejection. We see that the shields jump down instead of up like they usually do. None of this makes any sense. Talk about CYA after being wrong for the 50th time in a row. They're calling this the first of the two chronal mass ejection impacts. What do you think? Plasma at, well, under 4 centimeters cubed and solar winds at 460, under 500 kilometers per second? Ladies and gentlemen, I would consider this a complete disaster especially after they redid the Space Weather Prediction Center to say there would be no impacts. That makes it even funnier. Here is their update that occurred yesterday, and this is Earth here in green, the green dot here, and they show, they show plasma in between about 5 centimeters and 10 centimeters or 8 centimeters so they washed the impact that went up to 25 and 33 centimeters cubed and then they show solar winds today this is their redo again starting out at about 300 and ending up at about 280 but instead they started out at 350 and went to 468 I'm so confused if I'm confused they are overly confused to put a statement out like that after redoing this brand new model that we paid for the taxpayers to upgrade Space Weather Prediction Center and taking out both impacts and now claiming this was an impact? Ladies and gentlemen, a chrono mass ejection should always be plasma, followed perhaps by solar winds, but always plasma. Plasma is heavier than solar winds, so it always pushes solar winds down. Here we're only seeing a reaction from solar winds. That would be a coronal hole, not a coronal mass ejection. With that said, God bless you and yours. These agencies, all three of them, NASA, NOAA, and the ESA, are whack in a complete group of slush funds. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible.
in bizarro world 